favorite song. She loved to sing this. Um, and this song is called Worth, and it taught, um, the chorus simply states that you thought I was worth saving, so you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping, so you cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die for, so you sacrificed your life, so I could be free, so I could be whole, so I could tell everyone I know. So um, let's just sing this in honor of Cordesia because this is a clarification that she's free and that she has no more bondage, no more shame.
he told the angel, go get Kadeja Jones. She's smart and pretty. She's such a dear. That's the reason I want her here. She's got a spirit of joy with a bright smile that shows character of a godly child. Her life was too short, many would say. Don't live for tomorrow, live for today. She helped us with laughter, tears, and pain, so our lives would never be the same. But God wanted a true angel to fill his throne. That's why God chose Cordasia Jones, written by Grandmother Clarissa Wilson. May God bless you all. Praise the Lord. Praise Him in His temple. Praise Him in the firmament of His power. It tells us how to praise the Lord. Praise Him on the cymbals and the high sounding cymbals. Praise Him on the stringed instruments and praise Him in the orchestra. And then it tells us who can praise Him. It says that everything that has to be. Let me take your time and thank you, Lord. Turn the organ up. I feel like preaching it. Turn it all the way up. I'm gonna run hopeless out, hopelessness out of this room today. We're gonna run hopelessness out of this room today. In fact, we're gonna run it out of this city today. We're gonna run depression out of the city today. Verse 1, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's home, in his house, are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. And Thomas said unto him, Lord, we do not know where you are going and how we can know the way. Right. And Jesus said to him, I am the way. The truth and the life. And no one comes home to the Father unless they come through me. Let me talk to you for a minute today about going home. Father, help us in Jesus' name. Amen. You can be seated. Today we are here to commemorate the life and celebrate the homegoing of a sweet name of Cordasia Jones, who died Monday, November 21st, 2016. Due to injuries, she sustained in a tragic accident here in Chattanooga. Before I begin today, I want to say to Letitia and Cornelius, her dear grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, family, I want you to know that an entire city and the church family are undergirding you in prayer. I also want to say to Superintendent Dr. Kirk Kelly, to Principal Brenda Coughlin, to School Board Member Caritza Mosley-Jones, to all of the Woodmore Elementary faculty and administration, to our policemen, our firefighters, our EMT and first responders, to our city and council officials, the county officials, to our leaders, we are praying for you as well. You have done an admirable job navigating this community through a difficult difficult circumstance and today we want you to know all of you to know you are being prayed for and that although we are walking through one of the most painful seasons in our community that I can ever remember we are not walking alone 
Today there are many people praying, the church is praying, the community is praying, and surely God is with us and with you as we walk through this valley. We do not know exactly what to say. I don't know about you, but I get tired of people trying to say cute things. All right, all right. I don't always know what to say in moments like this, but I just want you to know we're here. And we're here so that you don't have to carry this heavy load alone. Some may ask why we are in this building today. How did we get to this place? For you to understand that, you've got to travel back with me about four years when we began a small little inner city satellite work over on 4th Avenue and we made it a decision of our church that we would minister to the children and the families of the inner city and surrounding areas of Chattanooga. And one of the first groups of children that we ever won on our bus route included Cordasia and Cordarius Jones. Over the last several years, we have seen both of them become an important part of our children's ministry here at RPC. Cordarius plays the drums on Sunday, and Cordasia sang in the choir on the praise team out front when we had a children's program. And she was a committed part of our children's praise team. Every week she joined my daughters and other kids from the kids department and led the entire department in worship. I was talking to Pastor Anna, our children's pastor, and Pastor Mariah, our children's pastor, about Cordasia, and they said she was so respectful. She was like a mother hen over all the children. She was always making sure they were not cutting up and acting out of line, and always helping the leaders and the adults in the kids' department. She was a nine-year-old fourth grader who went to Woodmore Elementary, a great school here in our community. And on Monday, November 21st, Cordasia and many of her schoolmates and friends loaded up on bus 366 and they headed home. They headed home as they do most every school day throughout the year. If I know Cordasia, and I'm glad I did, she was smiling, she was being friendly, she was being respectful and helpful of everyone on the bus that Monday. At first, there was nothing abnormal about this bus ride home. It was just Cordasia and her friends on their way home. But somewhere around 3.30 p.m. on Monday, the bus began to flip. Metal began to screech. Glass began to shatter. And one of the greatest tragedies that our community has ever known occurred as bus 366 crashed, leaving some of the 37 children on board injured, some fighting for their lives, and some who would not make it home that day. As I learned of the bus crash that afternoon, I immediately called our children's pastor to see if there were any of our babies involved in this tragedy. I was notified that of all the families in our church family that had children who attend Woodmore Elementary, we had contacted and verified the safety and the whereabouts of all of them, except that we could not verify the safety and the whereabouts of Cordasia Jones. As we continued to try to find the whereabouts of our princess, I immediately gathered my things and rushed to the hospital to check on the families of those involved just to see if there was anything I could do to serve or help in any way. I will never forget the scene at the ER of T.C. Thompson Children's Hospital on Monday night. The sobs of grandmothers, the crying out of moms and dads, as they were notified that their children succumbed to the injuries sustained in the accident. I will never forget watching a precious mother cry as she was notified that her baby would not make it home that day. As I was watching this tragedy unfold, I looked down at my phone and I saw a missed text from our children's pastor who notified me that Cordasia was indeed on the bus that day and that she did not make it home and they were trying to find her whereabouts, only later to find out that she died in the crash on Talent Road Monday, November 
first. And then I turned to another scene in the emergency room and I saw a mother crumble under the weight of bad news. I heard her voice crack and she said, my baby didn't make it home. As the family wrestled through the tragic news, we all found ourselves saying, how could this be? Cordasia got on the bus. Buses take babies home. And I'm trying to figure out how I'm standing in a hospital room. And all these parents are receiving bad news. And as I continue to wade through the shock of this past week, I felt like that mother in the emergency room. And perhaps like some in this building this afternoon, the thought crossed my mind. Cordasia got on the bus. Heading home, but never made it home that day. But when I got down to pray this week, All right. All right. the Lord began to talk to me about this situation. And I began to see this situation through a completely different lens of understanding. And I felt like God wanted me to come to the funeral today and fix something for everybody in the house. Maybe you're tormented today because you don't think Cordasia Jones made it home. But on Monday at 3.30 p.m. when the bus was flipping and the door was screeching and the glass shattered, somewhere in the middle of that tragedy, God got on bus 366.
need to find another business in heaven. Right at a funeral. Yeah. Well, this is the only time some people come to 